In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for lead to nitrate plus ammonium phosphate. So first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. So when I look at the molecular equation, this one's a little bit challenging. I do see I have three of these lead atoms and only one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the lead to nitrate. So I have three leads. Now I have three times two, six nitrates. I'm just going to put a six over here. That gives me six nitrates, but I also have six of these ammonium ions. If I put a two here, two times three, that's six ammonium ions. That'll balance these six out. And two times the phosphate. I have two phosphates there and two phosphates here. So this is our balanced molecular equation. A little bit of work for that one. Next, we can write the states for each substance. So nitrates, if you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. If you put an AQ, that's going to dissolve, dissociate into its ions when it's put in water. Ammonium compounds, very soluble. AQ again. And then this phosphate. Lead compounds in general, you have to be careful. They're often insoluble. And in the case of phosphates, lead phosphate, most phosphates are insoluble. And lead to phosphate, that's insoluble. We're going to put an S for a solid. It's going to be a precipitate. When we have this reaction take place, this will fall to the bottom of the test tube. It's a precipitation reaction. Nitrates, very soluble ammonium compounds. So that's going to be aqueous. That'll dissolve and dissociate. We have the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. So we don't know the charge on lead. It's a transition metal. But we do know the whole nitrate here is 1 minus. Good one to remember. Since we have two of them, the lead has to be 2 plus. So this is lead 2. We have three of these lead 2 ions. And I'll write aqueous later. Let's not write that now. I have 3 times the 2 here six of these nitrate ions. Over here, the ammonium ion, the whole thing, has a 1 plus, another one you should remember. So I have 2 times 3. That gives me six of these ammonium ions here. And I have two of the phosphate. The phosphate's 3 minus. So I have two phosphate ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, we have our lead to phosphate here. But we don't split solids apart in net ionic equation. So we're going to keep this lead phosphate together, lead 2 phosphate. And then for our ammonium nitrate, we'll have six ammonium ions plus that six goes to everything, so six nitrate ions. So this is the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, and we're really not interested in them. So our reactants are here, and these are our products. So I can see I have six nitrate ions in the reactants and in the products. I can see I have six ammonium ions in the reactants and six in the products. So I can cross these out. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for this lead to nitrate plus ammonium phosphate. I'll clean this up, add the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for lead to nitrate plus ammonium phosphate. You'll notice that charge is balanced three times two plus, that's six plus, and then we have two times three minus, six minus, so they balance out, give us a net charge of zero. Neutral compound over here, net charge of zero. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for PBNO32 plus NH43PO4. Thanks for watching.